Ever wonder what happens when a baseball game turns into a blockbuster movie ending? Cue the best MLB walk-off home runs. From Albert Pujols' legendary three-run home run to Brian Buxton's 469-foot moonshot. Let's get started. In a marathon for the ages, 40 players, 462 pitches, and multiple three hour later SpongeBob memes, Gonzalez finally got the pitch he needed to moonwalk into history with a 410 foot blast off from Corey Clubber. Swing and a high fly ball. Left field. Way back. Ball game. In the longest postseason scoreless saga. This one is incredible, but they're about to get even better. Weeks before Riley sent Seattle soaring into the playoffs, Suarez sealed the deal against the Braves, slapping a walk-off against Kenley Jansen. One, did you know? Giddy up, baby! Giddy up! Giddy up! And the Mariners win this ball game! This was definitely one of the craziest games I have ever watched. Entering the 2022 season, Judge's walk-off drought was harder to believe than a Bigfoot sighting, but he more than compensated, crushing three game winners matching Mantle's record. High fly ball, left center, Taylor on the run, on the track, at the wall, he's done it again! Watch how casually he swears this ball off the field. He already knew he just needed one good hit and it'd be out the park. Jordan Alvarez turned game one of the ALDS into a blockbuster for Astros fans, delivering the first ever walk-off home run and posting his history by a team in a pinch. One. Alvarez launches deep right field, and this one is gone! And the Astros walk him off in game one. The kicker on this hit, it was a three run blast that left opponents and spectators wondering if the baseball he hit needed a seat belt. Alvarez's knack for clutch homers continued throughout the Astros championship journey, solidifying his status as the team's power packed home run specialist. In a weekend roller coaster for the Phillies marked by Giardi's managerial exit and culminating in a euphoric sweep of the Angels, Stott unleashed a masterpiece. Runners go. 3 2 is hit in the air, to right field. It's Get out beautifully. It is over! Three run home run for Bryson Stott! Following Harper's jaw dropping game tying grand slam, Stott, with the poise of a maestro, stepped up with two outs and delivered a walk off symphony. The crescendo, a resounding home run that sent the Citizens Bank Park into a frenzy, capping a turbulent but triumphant chapter for the Phillies. A tale told with the crack of a bat and a victorious dance at home plate. The Phillies' prayers were answered. Delayed by a fractured foot from a spring training foul ball, Detroit's prized prospect Riley Green made a delayed but dazzling entrance to Comerica Park in June 2022. Fly ball center field. Taylor going back. Still going back. That ball's out of here. Riley Green wins it. In a script Hollywood would love, Green's major league debut crescendoed with a 432-foot walk-off spectacle, making it his first career homer. As if announcing his arrival with pyrotechnics, Green's talent lit the ballpark up, setting the stage for what promises to be a star-studded chapter for Detroit baseball in the years to come. The delayed debut only added to the legend of Green turning adversity into an unforgettable and entertaining tale of triumph. In a game that felt more like a carnival, Rodgers unleashed a walk-off spectacle, making it a hat-trick of homers in a performance that only could be described as epic. Brendan drives this ball to right center field with authority, and it is up and over the barrier. Three dingers in a single game? That is crazy. Are you serious right now? That's the kind of stat you would only see in MLB The Show. But wait, there's more. This ball is hit well to left field. This has some legs, and this is number two. High fly, deep left. Take a good look. You won't see it for long. It wasn't just any hat trick. It was a walk-off hat trick a rarity not seen in nearly four years. Rodgers turned the diamond into his stage, putting on a power pack show that made it one of baseball's most thrilling performances. Talk about hitting it out the park literally three times. And guys, we wanna hit it out the park too. So if y'all are loving this video, please hit that subscribe button and don't forget to like. Turn on notifications so that you'll be the first to see our new baseball videos. Now back to these crazy walk-offs. Buxton didn't just hit a walk-off, he unleashed a 469 foot moonshot. A drive to left field! He has done it again! A 
officially making it the longest walk-off home run in StatCast history. This dude tried to literally hit it out the park. To put it in perspective, Buxton's homer wasn't even that long. It was tied for the ninth longest dinger of the 2022 season. But talk about launching a career to new heights. Reynolds, the Sultan of SWAT before StatCast ruled the realm, briefly wore the crown of the longest walk-off home run until Buxton snatched it away. In the climactic Rockies vs. D-back showdown, Reynolds facing his ex-team stepped up to the plate in a 7-7 deadlock. Ball picks it in the air, deep center field, way back, did he get it? You bet! Mark Reynolds has won it for the Rockies! With the swing that can make Thor jealous, Reynolds launched Silvano's Bracho's pitch a staggering 464 feet into an abyss of dead center. It was the kind of hit that left fielders contemplating the career change. Reynolds broke ties and records, leaving fans wondering if they had just witnessed a home run or a missile launch. Schwarber's home run was a head scratcher for a bunch of reasons. The National and the Diamondbacks were stuck in a ninth inning snoozer, tied at zero with just seven hits total. There it goes! Game winner! See you later! Schwarber stepped up and smashed Arizona's Alex Young into the second deck at Nationals Park. Boom! Talk about breaking the boredom. This solo shot secured a sweet 1-0 victory for the Nats without needing a rally and Mark Schwaber's debut home run in a national uniform. This is what we call putting on a show. In pivotal moments during the 2017 NLCS Game 2, Justin Turner etched his name into baseball lore with a mesmerizing three-run walk-off home run. Turner with a fly ball, the center field, it's way back at the wall, a three-run walk-off home run for Justin Turner. With the Los Angeles Dodgers trailing, Turner's bat became the hero, smashing the ball into the night and turning the tide against the formidable Chicago Cubs. Fly ball to left, it's on its way and it is gone! A home run for Justin Turner! The euphoria radiated through Dodger Stadium as Turner's clutch performance secured a dramatic victory and leveled the series. This unforgettable moment showcased Turner's ability to shine under pressure and added another chapter to the rich tapestry of postseason heroics in Major League Baseball. In a legendary display of clutch, clutch hitting during the 2005 NLCS, in Game 5, baseball icon Albert Piojos etched his name into history with a sensational 3-run home run. This atmosphere was electric as Piojos stepped up to the plate. With a powerful swing, he launched the ball into the St. Louis night, helping propel the Cardinals to a euphoric victory. Pujols is the last hitter you want to be giving gimme pitches to. This hit encapsulated the essence of heroics, leaving an incredible mark on the hearts of Cardinal fans. Many people have claimed this is the best homer they've ever seen. In Game 4 of the 2006 ALCS, Ordonez made a big impact on baseball history when the Tigers really needed it. Ordonez hit an amazing three-run walk-off home run. This fantastic play helped the Tigers get to the World Series. It wasn't just about hitting the ball perfectly. Ordonez showed that he could handle the pressure, making him a hero to every Tigers fan in the world and propelling them to the World Series. These moments represent a mix of regular season and postseason heroics, showcasing that drama and excitement make baseball one of the most captivating sports. Y'all want more videos like this? Don't forget to like the video and hit that subscribe button down below. What was y'all's favorite homework in this video? What was y'all's favorite homework period that we missed? Let us know. Until next time, peace.